When I was making this course, I was thinking about this item up here, which we called the user item up here. And I showed you how to create this user item. However, I had the idea to create a special package for you, and I did it. So welcome to useritem.dev. This is the package I created for you that is not inside ChatCN, but this is a package to display users. Because probably later into our app, we would like to be able to display other users. And we would like to use this user item that we got here. And I don't want you necessarily to code it. I showed you how to code it. But now you can use this user item that we got in here. And we are going to replace this user item up here by this one. You go to NPM, you can find this package here called user item with a short description and how to use it. So let's look at it. We are going to install it by typing npm install user item. On React, you will import user item from user item. On Next.js, you will have to use dynamic because probably you want to use it on SSR. It's not the case right now. You can only use it on client. So you will import here on SSR false the item. And then inside your code later, you can use this user item with the title, the description that you want. The avatar URL, if you want to have a status online, offline, there will be also a drop down, but here it's not uh, uh, possible yet because I didn't work on it uh, yet. I have to change this to put it on false. And you've got also the verify option if you want. And you can, of course, trigger the on click. If you want to know what props you can pass, here you got a list. And up here, you got here on the right, the status, if it's ready or not. As you see, drop down is not ready yet. It's going to come later. So this package is free to use. If you like it, just download it, use it for your Next.js application. If you have the time, go to the description here on user item on my profile. Just put a star on it and you get exactly the same description as on NPM. So let's go, let's implement this package. I am back on my dashboard. I'm going to type npm install user item. It's going to install the latest version of user item. Coming back to my sidebar and we can see that I got import user item coming from uh, actually the component. So I'm just going to hide this one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to type import user item from user item. Here, if you are on TypeScript, you can see that you got here a declaration. So to avoid this, you can actually create a custom.d.ts. And here you can type declare module user item to don't get this problem anymore. And what I can do is coming back here and I can just copy paste for now this example that I'm going to change after this course. So I'm going to come back here. You can't use the drop down again. And I'm going to put here my user item with John Doe with the on click. I don't want to have the on click. I don't want to have the verified. I don't want to have all of this. And I'm just going to remove this. I just want to have John Doe and John Doe at mail.com. Probably I would like to have shadow false. So I'm going to put shadow false and I'm going to remove the old user item that I got on my component. So here I'm going to come back here. I got the user item that I used here. Now I got this better version. I'm going to remove this and let's look at the result. Now I came back, we can see here on the top that we are using my package here. And if I want to, I can put some style to it. So let's say that here I would like to have a, a border, let's say one pixel solid red. I'm going to save that. And when I come back, we can see that it applied the style because I passed the props to this new package. Now we've been working on this user item package. I propose you to create a team member page where we will be able to manage the team members of the uh, dashboard. 